Right atrium. The right atrium is somewhat a quadrilateral chamber situated behind the right side of the right ventricle. It consists of a main cavity and a small outpouching called auricle. External features. The right atrium is elongated vertically and receives superior vena cava at its upper end and the inferior vena cava at its lower end. The upper anterior part is prolonged to the left to form the right auricular appendage, the right auricle. The margins of the auricle are notched. The right auricle overlaps the roots of the ascending aorta completely. A shallow vertical groove called sulcus terminalis extends along the right border between the superior and inferior vena cavae. The upper part of the sulcus contains the sinoatrial node. Internally, it corresponds to crista terminalis. The right atrioventricular groove lodges the right coronary artery and the small cardiac vein. Internal features The interior of the right atrium is divided into two parts. The main smooth posterior part, known as the sinus venarum, and the rough anterior part, the atrium proper. The two parts are separated from each other by crista terminalis. Septal wall of the right atrium. The interior of the right atrium also presents septal wall of the right atrium. Developmentally, it is derived from the septum primum and septum secundum. The septal wall, when viewed from within the right atrium, presents the following features. Fossa ovalis, which is a shallow oval saucer-shaped depression in the lower part formed by septum primum, it represents the site of foramen ovale in the fetus, annulus ovalis, also known as limbus fossa ovalis. It forms the distinct upper and lateral margin of the fossa ovalis. It represents the free edge of the septum secundum. Inferiorly, the annulus ovalis is continuous with the left end of the valve of inferior vena cava. Triangle of Koch it is a triangular area bounded in front by the base of the septal leaflet of tricuspid valve, behind by anterior margin of the opening of coronary sinus, and above by the tendon of Todaro, a subendocardial ridge. The atrioventricular node lies in this triangle. Torus aorticus is an elevation in the anterior superior part of the septum produced due to bulging of the right posterior sinus of the ascending aorta. Opening into the right atrium. There are a number of openings in the right atrium. These are as follows. Opening of the superior vena cava. The superior vena cava opens at the upper end of the right atrium and has no valve. It returns the blood to the heart from the upper half of the body. Opening of inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava opens at the lower end of the right atrium, close to the interatrial septum. It is guarded by a rudimentary non-functioning semilunar valve called valve of inferior vena cava. Opening of coronary sinus. The coronary sinus, which drains most of the blood from the heart, opens into the right atrium between the openings of inferior vena cava and right atrioventricular orifice. It is also guarded by a rudimentary non-functioning valve, Thabesian valve. Right atrioventricular orifice. It is the largest opening. It communicates the right atrial chamber with the right ventricular chamber and is guarded by the tricuspid valve. Many small orifices of small veins. These are the opening of vena cordis minimi and anterior cardiac veins.